Beginning in 1939, Drew traveled to Tuskegee, Alabama, to attend the annual free clinic at the John A. Andrew Memorial Hospital. For the 1950 Tuskegee Clinic, Drew drove along with three other black physicians. Drew was driving around 8 a.m. on April 1. Still fatigued from spending the night before in the operating theater, he lost control of the vehicle. After careening into a field, the car somersaulted three times. The three other physicians suffered minor injuries. Drew was trapped with serious wounds. His foot had become wedged beneath the brake pedal. When reached by emergency technicians, he was in shock and barely alive due to severe leg injuries. Drew was taken to Alamance General Hospital in Burlington, North Carolina. He was pronounced dead a half hour after he first received medical attention. Drew's funeral was held on April 5, 1950, at the 19th Street Baptist Church in Washington, D.C. Despite a popular myth to the contrary, once repeated on an episode, Dear Dad. 3. Of the hit TV series MASH and in the novels Carrie and Comfort and the 480, Drew's death was not the result of his having been refused hospital access because of his skin color. In truth, according to John Ford, one of the passengers in Drew's car, Drew's injuries were so severe that virtually nothing could have been done to save him. Ford added that a blood transfusion might have actually killed Drew sooner. This myth spread, however, because it was not then uncommon for blacks to be refused treatment because there were not enough Negro beds available or the nearest hospital only serviced whites.